Oh my god. It's just like one of those things where it's Who like, hey, you try to murder me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, Sting and Davy Boy Smith or British Bulldog ended up winning that match. Oh, B- Vader and, S- and Sid Vicious were called the Masters of the Power Bomb. That's actually kind of cool as a, mm. as a name. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fall like... Brawl was the next match. Yep. So, yeah, and this had a War Games match, and that's probably why they did not do another one. <laughs> where Cactus Jack makes his anticipated return. Wow. Actually, he yeah. had great matches with Vader. Just in WCW. Yeah. And, like, the, that was, like, the first... That was, like... Well, the first, like, hardcore-ish matches that were being brought over to America. Where, like, he was... Where, like, Mick Foley just, like, you know, jumping off the um, ring apron onto, like, just the concrete was considered, uh-huh. like, a crazy stunt. Yeah. Where, like, now it's, like, everybody does it. Yeah. It's just wild how, like, all... How, like, it went from one thing to another within... Well, I mean, Mick span. Foley constantly pushed the envelope, too, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why he, you know, that's why he's so highly regarded. Because yeah. th- nobody gave more of his body than that guy. And, you know, he's... It's 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 still a wonderful blessing that he's still on this earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's really funny. I, like, I can't wait till, every, till, like, this whole pandemic's over and, like, he can go back to doing his, like his stand-up shows and things because they're a lot of fun i yeah i went to one of them and they were a lot it was a lot of fun and d snyder's son opened for some reason and he sucked <laughs> <laughs> like his whole his whole gimmick is his whole like bit is my dad's famous i haven't done anything with my life <laughs> that's his like entire routine and then like there was another woman who like also opened and she was like a former um she was like a former like writer uh-huh. for ww and she was really funny she was actually she was really really funny actually i i forget her name but like like she was a good opener and uh uh-huh. and mick foley just went on and he, he killed he was great but i remember like d snyder was like sitting in the audience and he was like Standing there, like waiting for people to come up to him, so that he could like blow them off. So he could like blow them off. He wasn't trying to blow them. <laughs> he was oh my god! He was trying to blow them <laughs> off. He was trying to just like you know not deal with them or just like push them away or just like you know say th- like he was just like waiting for like for them to stroke his ego, uh-huh. um, and like people were not coming up to him because they wanted to go like meet Mick Foley if they could. <laughs> And he, yeah. like, had this freaking scowl on his face, like, why is nobody looking at me? Because <laughs> literally everyone is there for mm. Mick Foley. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I, I saw Mick Foley here, and, like, uh, Ed showed up, because, like, I guess he was nearby. And it was just like, oh, my God, it's Edge. And, like, everyone forgot about Mick Foley. Oh, well, that's not nice. But, like, it was just, like, it's a surprise. And I remember, like, one of the big things was, like, oh, yeah, you can ask Edge something. And some stupid asshole was, like, so how is Lita? And it's, just like, bro. Oh, that's... Yeah. So, I hate it when people do shit like that. Like, there was, um... Um, one of, um, one of the bands that I used to play in, um, we were playing at the show in Staten Island, and, um... And uh, Lita's punk band at the time, they were called the Lucha Gores or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, we were opening for her band and, you know, and like I was just, you know, she was there. So I went to go talk to her. I wanted I wanted to meet this lady who used to be on my wall, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to say it in, in the most non creepy way. But like I had posters of her on my wall and I was like, you know, this is so cool. I used to have pit. I have, used to have posters of you in lingerie. I'm like now this is kind of awkward, but like this is also awesome. She was like, should have just brought the posters. I would have signed them. And, if, and I was like, all right, she is really cool. Yeah. Um, and then like, and then just, and then some idiot like goes up to her and he's like, so what was it like to like, so like, what was it like to know to like go through the rest of your life knowing that you screwed over Matt Hardy? Is this why you screwed? Like, why did you do this? Was Edge better, huh, or whatever? Oh and God. I was like, oh God damn it! 
And she was just, every literally she was everybody like, involved with that is over it. Like, and, yeah. and fans are still bringing it up. Like, it's because it's just they've a, all it's moved just on. Such a they all thing. like Edge is married to somebody else. Matt Hardy is married to somebody else. I'm pretty sure Lita is married to somebody else. Like, it's fucking get over it. It was like fucking ancient. It's like fucking people who like dwell on like high school relationships. You know, it's like it's because nothing. It was because nothing else happened in their lives that were exciting from that point. So, like, they had yeah. to, like, constantly... It's like the Al Bundy complex, where it's, like, you're yeah. constantly bringing up Polk High and how, like, high school was the peak of your life, and now uh-huh. you're just a, and now you're a shoe salesman. Yeah. yeah. So it's like Cobra Kai in real life. I, I gotta watch <laughs> that show. I, I've... Uh, it's so good. I watched, like, all three seasons in, like, four days. Oh, crap. Literally, there, there's like a news broadcast where it's like a karate riot broke out. I'm like, what? A karate riot? <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus. like everyone's just like, guys, this is stupid. Why are we fighting about karate? Thirty minutes later, oh, I'm gonna karate you so hard. <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> Literally, it's just like, guys, I know this is not the way to deal with our problems. But you really need to karate them really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you need to karate them. 